I think one of the biggest frustrations is when we do our hair and we invest in all of these products and we learn about what's going on and we nail it and we do such a great job and then we sleep on it and our hair looks like we got hit by a bus. So this is my hair uh, second day. Um, it, I definitely didn't leave any product in it. I just left in a tiny bit of conditioner, but no styling product. And my hair was preserved overnight by wearing one of the methods that I'm going to show you um, in this video. So I'm really happy that you wanna learn more. And this method will not dry out your hair. It will not stretch your curls. It will not give you um, wonky shapes or um, weird looks, so you don't have to worry about feeling like an unknown creature when, when you look in the mirror in the morning. Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Uh, I really appreciate you being here. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And my videos go out every Monday, so if you'd like to be notified of when that video goes out, press that little bell below. There's gonna be a description in the description box below this video of where you can find the items that I'm about to talk about. And also you can find a way to follow me on Instagram because that's where I do a lot of my education is on the gram. So if we aren't on social media already enough, I will implore you to be on it a little bit more if you want to learn directly about the techniques and methods that I offer since I am a salon owner and I am a curly hair specialist. So I hope to see you on the gram and let's get started, shall we? Before I show you how to wear a buff for nighttime, I wanted to also introduce you to the Grace LOA uh, Slap. This was marketed very well. I think their company did a phenomenal job getting their marketing team to get it out there and you can learn about it. It does have a satin lining inside. It is a pretty peach color. I was This was a gift from my client and I'm not bashing it, but I will tell you that this is not the number one product that I recommend over a buff for sleep regimen. I'm going to make a second video about that and you can catch that next week uh, on part two of buff sleepwear versus slap so that's definitely something you can look forward to and why I am not a fan Ugh. I look like a gnome mm -hmm. so let's get started with how to wear a buff at night first you're going to put your hands through place under your chin and bring the buff around your hair. Make sure you don't have dangly earrings on because they get in the way. Um, you're going to want to stand upside down. I mean stand and then flip upside down and you're going to gather the buff to just meet you at the hairline here. Okay, so I can see you peekaboo. And I'm just going to lightly pull that around the hairline and then on the rest of the fabric, I'm just going to cocoon Okay, the rest of that fabric over my hair. Now you're gonna see that that buff is going to stop right above my eyes and I still have a decent amount of fabric left. You can either take whatever is remaining and twist it and turn it and you can pin it and that's the way it goes and you can pull it over your eyes and go to sleep, baby. And ta-da. This is what I recommend how to sleep with your hair. This actually is a method, but you cannot do this method without a buff. Now, what's on my head is actually not the same item that's in my hands. This that's in my hands here is the original buff. They come in several different sizes. I recommend the slim or the junior size. They come in several different fabrics, um, showing you that they come in cold, cool, warm, or hot. So they have different breathable material. Depending on where you live, each uh, fabric is still going to preserve the curls in the correct way. The fabric doesn't get thicker, it just gets more sturdy. Um, and so with that being said, so with that being said, I do want to make a point that I 
don't sell for this company. I'm not a sponsor for this company. I don't even have an affiliate link, but I wanted to show the difference between the original and what I'm actually wearing on my head today. Now, Amazon can turn into a huge rabbit hole of finding one item and then finding another item that price compares. That's their job. They want you to find what's gonna be the best price. However, please visit their website so you can learn what it is they offer and what different fabrics they offer and why. So you can get some research under your own belt of what's gonna work for you. Maybe you're athletic and you do want something that's gonna work for running and the gym and if you're doing a marathon this year. So don't forget to check them out. Amazon, it's very easy to find different things and to get overwhelmed and confused. So let me help you out and make it super simple for you by just showing you two different ways. The easiest way that I can describe what you should be looking for is when you are on either Amazon or you are on their actual website, I recommend you visit their website first so you can learn about their gear and learn about how they gauge their materials. If you're living in a very cold climate and you need to stay warm, then you know what you need to buy because of this really helpful guide on their packaging. The way I look at it and the way I've learned about the way the buff works, it's kind of like bedding. It just changes the thread count. So it's not that the sheets are gonna keep you warmer or keep you hotter. It's the way that the fabric is going to be insulating and creating comfort. And I find that the buff, all, all versions of the buff are really, really comfortable, except that some of them are going to keep the heat in longer and some are gonna let the heat out faster. Now moving on to a competitor of the buff is a cheaper brand. It's a cheaper fabric. They don't offer as many options. What you see is what you get. You get, um, well, to an extent, you get the same fabric throughout the whole um, package that's received. And this is by Demel Headband. I ordered 12 of them for $16.99 and you get all of them in their individual packing. What's kind of cool about the packaging is that they do show you different ways to wear it, and I find that to be very useful. I think the buff doesn't really offer that many photos, okay, as like this one does. So they are creative in that sense, so that is pretty good um, in my opinion. Um, the fabric is very lightweight. It actually feels very silky and very slippery, even though it is not a satin fabric at all. So it is very smooth and light. Yeah, that makes sense. So the benefits of that is when you pull it over your eyes, it's not going to fall off. Sometimes I pull it all the way down here because when I wake up, it's actually all the way up here by the time I'm waking up to my alarm. So when you remove it, you can just literally pull it off like this, Woo! and then you shake it out and just see what is available to you. Now, if you need some advice and some guidance on how to refresh your hair, I have you fully covered. I already have a refresh video that is in my videos on YouTube, and this is also gonna be available on IGTV, so hopefully, hopefully, you guys will be able to view it there as well. So I wish you a beautiful, beautiful day. Be bold, be beautiful, be you. Enjoy, bye.